Hello, guys. Are we live? I think we are live. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So, in my last live video, I think it was my last live, I was so um, impressed or happy with the doll can clothes that I got, especially this one, that I thought I would purchase another pack off of Amazon and see if it was any good or see if there were pieces I could mix and match. This one looks more like a summer pack, which is cool because spring is coming in theory, although it's been bitter cold here for some reason. Um, so let me grab, this one is a four pack and I think it was like nine, it was on sale for like $9.99 or something like that. So let me grab four of the dudes. And we will, I will swap them out. Hey Mel, how are you doing? Oh, I'm not awake yet, even though it's uh, 2.29. The brain fog is evil today. And um, I hope you saw that my inaugural Starch and Stitches Instagram had your diorama as the backdrop picture. So, I mean, as far as my first picture on my new account was one with your diorama. So, yay! Um, so, just to remember, this is what I got last time. There was one more outfit and a pair of swim trunks. And it came with five outfits and two pairs of shoes. And this one looks like it comes with four outfits, a couple pairs of shoes and some questionable pieces. So this will be interesting. Um, interesting, interesting. You know, I'm not so much, even though I was really surprised at the quality of these shirts and stuff, it's really the bottoms that I'm after. Um, I said I wasn't gonna buy anything else and you know, I lie. So I have two skippers coming. I thought I was only going to get, <laughs> I was only going to get, um, I was looking for an articulated skipper and I didn't realize there was a one that was fully, not fully, not made to move articulated, but knees and elbows. And so I purchased one that just had legs first and then, and by purchased, I mean, I made an offer on um, Mercari and the seller actually accepted it, which is a bummer. <laughs> Cause, damn it. And then I made another one. I found the surfboard skipper and she was, had the knees and, and elbow articulation. And I made an offer on that. She accepted. So I have two skippers coming, but only one I want. And then I bought, I bought a baby. I bought a Barbie baby. I'd forgotten I'd done it like for four bucks or something. And I can't, I know it came on Friday because I know my husband said, Hey, honey, you got another weird little package. And yet I have no idea what happened to it. So I just raided the seller anyway and said it was great because it, so it wasn't that expensive. And if I have to take eat the loss, I eat a loss. All right. So let's see what kind of crazy ass stuff came in this. Um, so I'm going to assume these are swim trunks, but they're pretty short and they have Velcro. They feel like swim trunk material. These are cute. Uh, again, I like the faux jean material or the, this one doesn't feel quite like a chambray. Feels, maybe it's just because it's starched or something or it's got sizing in it. it I don't know. I'm, those are cute. Here's some plain white ones. Those are good. Um, and some other strange, yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe if, Maybe if the Kens are going to earn some money at Chippendales on the side, this might be working out for them. Not sure. And this is kind of cool. It's camo, but it's got this little splash of um, tropical print on the side mixed in. Actually, that's pretty neat. Again, these are all really nice and stiff. They don't, they didn't, the only thing I don't like is that they didn't surge the edges. But if it doesn't thray, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
Um, you know, some of the stuff you find made in China, made on AliExpress, they do surge everything and it's really nice. But look, this is already coming apart if I try to like flatten out the seam. So that is not bueno and that might rip. So I'm going to have to, I just ripped this seam open by trying to pull this um, flat. So yeah, that's not very well. That's not good. I'm going to have to fix that. I mean, it's not bad. It wouldn't have done that if I hadn't ripped it, <laughs> yanked on it. But. All right. And some basic khaki shorts. Nice, 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 nice little flap detail here. These feel softer. These are nice. Um, okay. This is actually a cute top. I love the tie dye and I don't mind this graphic. Like I didn't like the, the faux dog tags. This is actually an interesting graphic. It looks like they've got the great wall of China on here. What the heck? And, but I don't know what BJ stands for. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. This should be, this is a cute top. And then do we have this one already? Or we have something very similar. Uh, we have a similar polo shirt, but I think it's got a light blue instead of this. Um, I mean, it's got like a light turquoise, brighter blue than this grayish, um, more muted blue. So another polo shirt and a very nice camo tee. This is really nice. This is a good piece. And then we have this interesting um, pink stripe. I, I don't think it's a bad. I like pink on guys. I don't know. I mean, it's nice and plain. And then that's it. And then the shoes and then the two pairs of yeah, swim trunks and a Chippendales outfit. <laughs> so, and the shoes. I'm missing a shoe already. These are the same shoes that came in the last pack. They're just these um, loafers. Um, which is fine. I just wish they would include brown loafers. Because, you know, most guys wear, like, brown loafers, not white. They'll wear black or white. Black, brown, but not white. But, I mean, they'll wear white tennis shoes, right? White runners, white trainers, white, white sneakers. Does anybody know why they're called sneakers? I've never... Because is it easy to sneak in them because they don't have a hard heel? Is that, like, people back in the day, they thought they were sneaky? If so, nobody's ever heard them on a gym court... All right. This caffeine is not doing it for me. Um, I'm going to give Brandon one of the more. All right, let's see. I didn't take John out this time. Sean, I mean. Um, so we already have like kind of a white outfit. And I put that on Sean last time. He looks like he needs the uptight white outfit. So, I mean, that's kind of like a little ridiculous. I don't know if that, if we should do that. So we obviously have the camo pieces. I mean, it's cool. Like you could mix and match, right? With the jeans now. So I have two pairs of cool. So I'm like, I like the khakis. I like the jeans. I'm less, I'd less like the colored khakis here. But now I've got, and I do like these camos, but is this whole camo outfit, like, is that too much camo or is that good together? I don't know. And then we have the, the jeans and the t-shirt. Why do you always get so casually dressed, mister? I don't know. Unless it should go like that, maybe. That actually looks pretty good together. This is kind of crazy, this shirt. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I mean... Isn't that a lot of camo for one man to wear? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try. 
<laughs> All right. I will put the the Chippendales shorts on him when we're done. <laughs> I think, honestly, I'm going to do it like this. Because this is kind of tie-dye and this is kind of, it's not tie-dye, but it's like, I don't know. I think, I think that's how I'm going to do it. Okay. So let's start with, I think this is John. Yeah. So... Yeah, I just, there's just not enough caffeine in the world today. I don't know why. I have not been feeling well. Ugh. Maybe I should have put this, taken this off. No, this will be all right. Since they're made to move, we can do it. Yeah, I need to get... For that next, for that Instagram ch channel, I think I need to make more dioramas and get a, get a second light because my phone, my iPhone takes really good pictures, um, but it is slightly dark with, even though like with just the one light at night in here, but it's still pretty good. But if I got one more like diffuse light on the scene, it would look good. So, um, I really should, Gigi Ma, all those, um, Ziploc bags that you put inside your package as extra padding are like, I'm so going to put clothes in them. You, <laughs> they were like, so great. Um, wait, what outfit was, were we doing on him? This one, the weather is killing you. Yeah. I mean, uh, you name this guy Eric? I think his mold name is John. I think is what, I think that's what Jay said last time. Yeah, I don't know. It was like, it was supposed to be warmer. We're supposed to be in the 40s and 50s this time of year, you know? And it was like freaking 17 degrees yesterday or the day. And it's been windy and cold and icky and like, like my daffodils are up and almost ready to bloom. Like, what is this weather? You know, this is no bueno weather. I'm over it. Okay, so I really do like, again, this is a really strange, like, wide neck t-shirt on these guys. Maybe they make them so wide, but they don't need to make them this wide because they have Velcro in the back. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It certainly makes him look very broad across the top, doesn't it? Um, oh, yeah, and this has got pink in it, so this will work. I think this will work. I think this is a good match. Are you, so what are you working on right now, Mel? All right. Yeah, this looks good with the pink. Look, that looks good. See, I'm not crazy. And then, yeah, these pants are really good on them. Yeah, I'm all about these fashion packs. I didn't link this one below because I'm too tired and lazy to do it. But if you search for Ken fashion packs, you'll your Barbie fashion packs, they show up. It's the same. I think it's the same. It might be the same company. I don't know. All right. What do you think, Mel? Yes. Does that look good with the addition of the pink right there? Or is it supposed to be with this shirt? I don't know. But I think that pink looks really nice on his dark skin. Oh, he's in your dolly drama. Oh, now, which one is the one I think I was reading? I think I've seen the four seasons with the girls and their mom was having issues, but I don't know that I saw Eric Day. So I'll have to look for that one. Do you write those stories down before you start filming or taking pictures or do you just make it up as you go? I just don't feel like these shoes look good with, I don't think either of these shoes would look good with this. And I don't know that white tennis shoes would look good either. So I'm going to leave them barefoot right now. That's, I need to, I have all my doll clothes like shoved in a couple different boxes. They are not organized. And I bought some, I bought some like bead, they weren't bead trays because they were smaller and I got them from the dollar store, but I'm buying, I need to buy more like bead trays and stuff to organize all the accessories. Um, 
for the dolls now that I'm getting more um, yeah I really need to get that Ken I should take PETA out of his outfit that and try some clothes on him but I haven't done that yet and I did find his glasses that I'd lost last time but whatever what I what did I do with them they were on his face uh oh now they're lost over there Ah, oh, crap oh you're doing the jamboree the troll jamboree cool that's gonna be fun to go and look at everybody's trolls I think it's gonna be cute so we already kind of know the again these are pretty well made I have to say of the nice thick fabric it's not surged or anything, but it shouldn't fray. It looks like it's a knit of some sort, like a we weavy knit. But um, yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm like looking forward to seeing how, what are you using for their hair? Oh, pricky. Let's do this this way. Let's do this the smart way. Use your foot loose. I should make some, I don't know, dolly pairings in my universe and really sit down with them. And I do want to make some stories, but I don't know if I will. I, I like to write and mess around with writing, so it would seem natural that I would end up doing that with the dolls too, but that is for way off. I'm not doing that anytime soon. All right. I just don't know what Ken's, like, these polo shirts are so clean cut, like so nerdy. I mean, not nerdy. I mean, they're pretty relaxed and stuff, but you know what I mean. They're not like edgy. They're not, it's not an edgy top by any means. So. Yeah, I was so thrilled with the last outfits that I, I mean, you know, are they handmade artisan Etsy quality? No, but I really liked them enough that I went off and purchased a second set, like I said, because you just, it's just Ken dolls never have enough clothes and they're pretty inexpensive I would say I mean they're pretty reasonably cheap priced and you know but now I want more cool clothes for my Kens these clothes are a little nerdy or a little not nerdy I don't know preppy golf course like I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Hey, Lisa, how are you? I am trying on an Amazon, my second Amazon Ken clothing pack that I got. This one is a four pack. It came with four outfits, two trunks of some sort, and two, sh two pairs of shoes. So, and the clothes that I'm changing them out of was my previous purchase on Amazon of Ken doll clothing packs. So far, I'm liking this outfit most at the moment. And this one's meh. I mean, it's, it's what I really like the most about these packs is the pants quality, the pants. The shirts are hit or miss. I like this shirt a lot. I wish this one didn't have the dog tags. But that was from the last pack. Um, and I think it's worth it to just get like the brown khakis and the jean looking stuff. And then these camo pants are cute too. Yeah, golf preppy, that's it. Yeah, I'm not like a golf preppy kind of a girl. So yeah, all right. So I didn't really know. I mean, this this shirt would obviously look good with these jeans, right? Well, any of these would. But I think this one will look okay. We'll see. I think with his dark skin, he can pull this shirt off. So. Um, yeah. 
And I do wish they would make a top, like I said, that was a little tighter around the neck since they are actually including Velcro on the back. Like a, they don't really need to have this like wide neck on them, even though they're not bad. These are Ken shoes. These are actual Ken shoes from like the look stalls. Okay. And so these, see how nice these, they're just nice and simple, basic pants. Like you could make your own shirt and put this, I don't like really enjoy making pants, I guess. So I'm sort of buying more packs that have pants because it's easier and more fun to make a skirt or a dress. The pants are slightly annoying to me. Uh, so. Hey, Tracy. How are you? I got another pack off of Amazon for the guys. I don't know. I haven't ventured into the girls yet. I still have. I have a pack. I thought I had a. I have four outfits coming for the girls from AliExpress, and I thought they'd be here soonish, but they decided to combine it. I bought a bunch of other crap. <laughs> I I bought a bunch of stuff for the mermaid collab, and because I decided I didn't want to sew my own mermaid outfit. Um, so I bought something off AliExpress and I bought a bunch of things to jazz up the outfit with. Okay. This shirt is cute. What am I? am So this has a nicer neckline. I think this is nice. Don't you think this looks good on him? I bet this would look good on the buff Ken too, that I don't have yet. Er, um, anyway, so they combine the shipping. I hate it when they do that. Like I don't, I hate it when they do that because then it takes forever for that to all get organized and to get to me, you know, or to get to you or to get to whoever. Um, so this is the only thing I don't like about these is they kind of fit funny in the crotch here, but you know, just cause they're loose. Um, but it's probably so that they can accommodate a bunch of different bodies and with the shirts not tucked in, it doesn't look bad. So this is okay. Right. What do you think? That's outfit number three. Your phone was on handwriting mode and you can get off it. Oh, geez. That's annoying. All right. And then we have the last one and then it came with these two little trunks. So this was like more of a summer set. And I think this belongs to a Chippendale dancer. Tracy said we should model it on this, or not Tracy, Mel said we should model it on this guy, so we will. But we will see how these fit because they're kind of strange. I don't know. Um, yeah. So these are the extras, right? This is the four outfits and then the extras that they give you. I do like this outfit a lot. We'll see. Um, these are, I think, I don't know what shoes these are. These are Ken shoes. All right. These are actually Ken shoes. So these are not the off brand. So I feel like with any of these, like, I don't feel like these black, they came with these black dress shoes and a pair of white. They're like loafer slash dress shoes. And I feel like they just don't really go with these shorts outfits. Then there's a white pair too. I put the white pair on him. Um, yeah, I mean, they just, they're so shiny. This one is more of a matte. If they had made these more matte, maybe. But they're like, they look like dress shoes, and that just doesn't work out. So, I, I mean, but they're not bad shoes, and I could use them for, Lord knows, a bunch of other outfits if I had more outfits. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. And I need to find some, I guess I just need some, like, other athletic shoes. I have like a bunch of different shoes, you know, as I'm, the look stalls come with shoes and I got stuff everywhere in this office, as you guys know. And although I try, I try, I really try to keep things organized over here on this side of the room. I, yeah, I have ADD or ADHD and it doesn't, it doesn't work out. These BMR shoes are, would look good with these casual outfits, don't you think? So I might order some shoe packs off of AliExpress later. Um, all right, so I think this outfit's gonna be cute. And he's got the buzz cut, so. 
Oh, you're using fuzzy pom-poms for the troll hair. Oh, okay. That'll be cute. Is anybody else working on the troll jamboree in the chat or is it just Mel right now? All right, this shirt's adorable. I like it. All right, this is a good shirt. What do you think? Yes? So I feel like the shirts in this pack are, because they're casual, are for the most part better in my taste than the shirts in the other pack, <clears throat> which were mostly, were like half polos, then there was like a short sleeve hoodie and a t-shirt. This is a cute outfit. Tracy, you are. Okay, cool. What are you going to do for their hair? I am not participating, um, but I'm excited to see what everybody makes. So can you, can guys wear high tops and shorts without socks? Is that, or is that a, is that a thing? I don't know. These are Ken high tops. See, I feel like he needed some other color. Like it's just too white. I don't know. But this, I really like this outfit. Okay, so other than this, um, yeah, I think these three outfits here are a win. And I wish I had some black shoes for him that weren't polos, but not polos. Um, maybe some black tennis shoes for this outfit, but we'll just put him in white shoes for now. There, okay. They just look so white on his legs with this, with these dark, like he's got these dark shorts and then his lovely dark skin and then boop, white. This just doesn't look right. All right, we're going to try the, um, get this outfit off because it's not my fave. Although, you know, as for separates, I like the white shorts. They, with a different top, maybe. Like, I don't know why they don't just have like all solid, like colored polos, which would be nicer. I don't know. These are fine. I mean, they're two different, you know, they've got two different pr printed materials on here. They it's and they're well-made and the material is nice and sturdy and it's not plastic, you know? So I'm not, I'm not just unhappy with it. It's just, they're not my, they're not my cup of tea. Um, brushing out yarn. Yeah. I did that when I made a wig for the witch and stuff. I, I think that's a good method. I just hate how much yarn is wasted, but I guess if you save it to stuff pillows and things with, or, you know, stuffies or things that you make, then it's sort of worth it. But all right, let's see how these fit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about these. All right, they're definitely not, un they're not like panties because, or man panties, manties, because they, they, they feel like, they feel like swimwear material. So let's see. His feet are loose. He came new, so I don't know why he's so loose, but it is what it is. <clears throat> oh boy. All right. So now it looks like I have three pairs of swimsuits. Oh boy. What do you guys think? I mean, at least they're not Speedos, right? They're, but I prefer like the way we, you know, the U.S. guys, I know, I think maybe over in Europe, they wear more smaller bathing suits, but I like the longer baggy trunks, but what do you guys think? He looks like he would burn on the beach is what I think. He needs to, he's an indoor swimmer. He's an indoor lane pool. So he does laps in the indoor pool. He's not a beach guy. Not enough caffeine in the world today. Did 
these shorts? Hmm. Oh gosh, let's see. Let us see if these shorts would fit on Blythe, as Tracy would like to know. You don't like them? <laughs> they are a little, they look like, they look like briefs. They look like, they look like briefs. They, they, but they're not brief material. So I don't know. It's kind of funny. This material is a stretchy material. Um, they kind of fit on Blythe, on an A-zone Blythe, or, you know, regular fakie now. They're regular fakie. They're just a little bit big in the back. They don't have, so I mean, you could maybe, well, it's a stretchy material. I'm wondering how you could, they fit the thighs okay. Like, they're just big up here. <clears throat> I wonder if you could take them in, in the back. Like on one side, you could take this, it's um, a plastic stretch material. I wonder if you could see if you fold that over. So if you, if you just cut here and then move and move the, don't need to hear that. If you just cut this and then moved it over maybe or even just took off the Velcro and just moved it over. You could get away with it. So I pulled it down a little and this is how it fits. So I mean, you know, in a pinch, you could maybe use these on Blythe and, um, pose her in them nicely, you know, for a picture if you needed some shorts. Yeah. Um, yeah, they look like underwear. They look like underwear on him. But, and they kind of fit funny right in here, but I wonder if they would fit, um, I wonder if they'd fit, like, um, a fashionista can without articulation better. I don't know if I have one of those guys lying around. Yeah, I don't know. They're sewn up kind of funny. You, anyway, I mean, you know, I bet they probably fit a smaller Ken better. I don't have a smaller Ken right now. I think I have one somewhere. I think I got one in a lot. But I have no idea what I did with him. He he is lost to the midst, mists of time or the depths of despair of this room. Whichever you like is more poetic. Um, you know what? I'm going to put him in the hoodie outfit because... All right, so out of all of these, I would say these three and then this outfit are my favorites. Um, so we'll put him in this hoodie since he came with a hoodie. You know, that, that there's those white shirt, shorts would look better, I think, with his hoodie that he came with, you know, the oversized BMR hoodie than the, what the, the stupid BMR shorts he came with I on you know so I could put him back in his BMR hoodie with those long white shorts and he would look much better <laughs> Ken dolls don't have yes they are um smooth 
<laughs> smooth. They fit their clothes smoothly. Yes. Very smooth. Although I feel like the um I feel like the OG Kens had more of a package, you know, than these guys do. The 80s and the guys from the 80s and stuff, didn't they have more of a package? I swear I have one of those guys around here somewhere. Oh. I don't know how any of these clothes fit. I mean, I don't know how these, I don't know how these got, fit the OG Kens, and I don't know how they fit the, like, smaller fashionista Kens, but for these made-to-move guys, these looks guys, um, something. they fit pretty good. So... Was it worth it, you guys? What do you think? Are you interested in looking for these up on Amazon, or you don't really care about Ken clothes? For Ken's. I could just, for grins, see how this would fit. I'm sure it's going to be like... Yeah, it's probably going to be way too big. But it would be... A nice length on a blaze and um, what was I gonna say <sighs> blah, 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 blah. I don't know what I was gonna say yeah they don't fit the pants we already tried last time on Kirby's they fit they don't the, the thighs of a Kirby are too thick for the thighs of the Ken outfits so um, she can't wear them Although she probably could wear them around the waist, maybe, but you can't get them up past the thighs. So that's a bummer. Um, yes. All right. So these are my favorite outfits so far out of these two packs. I think they're cute. So, I mean, I got... One one I really like out of the first one, but some good pants. And then three that I really like out of the second pack. So I think it was worth it. And of course you can mix and match, right? So. Yep. All right. I need to grab one of those plastic bags that you sent me. And again, all these black shoes that these two pairs of black shoes that I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not currently using, but I think they're fine. I think they look good. Uh, what else? I don't think there's anything else going on except, yeah, I made those purchases of those skipper dolls, which I'm regretting. And that's, uh, I think that's it for the dolls. Just waiting on stuff to come from AliExpress. But you know me, I'll probably find something else and spend money I'm not supposed to. Um, what is the next holiday coming? Easter? I would like to get some Easter outfits made, but um, I, oh, and last time I told you guys I dropped my, I knocked over my sewing machine off the table and it did so. So that's, that's good. Um, yeah, that's it really. I don't have much more else to say today. It was just a short one to show you that I got a new pack and that um, I really like this pack. So, I mean, I think this one is my favorite. This and this are my favorites. I'm, reg <laughs> I'm regretting the skippers because I got two of them and I only wanted one but I made, so I wanted an articulated skipper and I couldn't find any, I couldn't find any, you know? And then I was thinking, well, maybe, because I wish this Stacy, I wish they had articulated Stacy's because their bodies are so cute um, and petite, you know, but they don't have any. So then I was like, well, first I thought this might've been a skipper, but then I remembered it was a Stacy. And then I was trying to, <laughs> confessions of a doll collector. And then I was trying to find an articulated skipper, but I only found ones that either had like arms or legs, but not both. And so I was like, okay, well, I saw this blogger from years ago had like gotten legs off of one and put it on one with arms that were articulated with a bended elbow. And, and I was like, okay, I'll do that. And then I saw the surfboard skipper 
had both articulated elbows and knees. And I was like, oh, and there was one on Amazon in a box for $45. So I was like, no. So I'd already put on a, an, I'd already put an offer on the skipper with the articulated knees on a Mercari for pretty cheap, like, I don't know, under $10. And unfortunately they accepted it, but I didn't realize that because then I saw one of the surfboard <laughs> skippers on Mercari inbox for like 20 bucks. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make an offer. It's like, 20, I don't remember how much or 18 or something like that. So I made an offer on that and that one was accepted. And, um, <laughs> and I was like, damn it. Now I've got two skippers. coming. <laughs> However, I might like one head because I think maybe one has the purple stripe and one has like straight brown hair. And I prefer the one I prefer, even though I like colored hair, I feel like they're more versatile if they don't as far as like dressing them up through ages and stuff, then if they have like a big giant purple stripe in their hair, you know, so maybe I might head swap, but I don't know. It depends on who comes with what. Cause I can't remember. And I did this at like four in the morning or something ridiculous when I was like half sleep. And so I don't even remember what's coming. And also I had forgotten. I bought a Barbie baby for like $4 or something. And it showed up, it showed up on Friday, but I don't know where it is. And my husband was like, he's like, Hey, Karen, you got another weird little package. And I was like, okay. And then I don't know where he and my son put it. And I don't like to like leave the Mercari sellers waiting. I'm a quick reader, you know? So I just said, okay, fine. I opened it and it's great. Here's a five star, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't know. I might never see it again. So, um, yeah. Uh, there's that. And that's not good. <laughs> I wonder if these outfits are on AliExpress. Um, I'm going to, because I know a lot of the stuff is similar, you know, either is the same things with different resellers on Amazon or Chinese stores and some, wait, why do I want to go? I don't want to go on Amazon. I want to go on AliExpress. What the heck, Karen? I'm going to try to see if I can find really quick. You may or may not be interested in this, but I'm going to see. And if I find a good listing, I'm going to put it on my other screen so you guys can see it. Um, you know, what's annoying. I used to follow, I follow some Russian beaters and like who make beaded, um, jewelry, not beaded jewelry, like normal, but the, um, sewing beaded jewelry. And so I followed a lot of their links onto AliExpress to see, you know, listings because they always, a lot of them just always list their materials that they purchase or they'll do like an alley haul or whatever. And every time I try to type it into my browser, it tries to send me the Russian uh, language one, which is fine. I can just switch it over to English, but I don't want it. I want the one in the United States. I suppose I could clear my cash, but I mean, this has been for a couple, this has been going on for a couple years now, right? Like, so, um, Kindle close. Let's see what's on this screen here. Hmm. Close for Kindle. If I see anything, I will show you guys and we'll compare the price because I'm curious to see whether it's, if these are on, maybe I need boyfriend. Usually they list it as boyfriend, like clothes. Hold on a second. So this here, in case you're wondering what this is, is my Cintiq. This is what I do my art on because I don't do traditional, like I don't, I don't do it on pen and paper anymore or, um, you know, painting. I do it all. Um, Ken. One six close Ken. Why is it not showing Ken? Why is it showing? All right, here we go. Um, I'm just going to quickly look. 
Yeah, so these are all... They have some really nice stuff. Even if you want to get really nice clothes on here, um, you need to go over to the Action, the One Six Action store, like where they, um, you know, the ones that actually look like action figures, like that look like you've all seen, like the um, Michael Jordan, um, really articulated, very realistic looking doll that some people use for their Barbie stories or. Um, anyway, they have like really nice, but very expensive clothes, um, for those dolls. If you look in that section and not under the Ken sections, but, um, I'm just, these pants aren't bad. They even have belt loops. Wait a minute. Well, those are just simple. So I don't know if you can see that, but they have belt loops here. And these are $3 a pair. Um, but I'm trying to see if you can, okay, here we go. So this is looking very similar. It might be a better bargain to get it on Amazon because, I mean, these aren't exactly the same, but you can tell that they're similar to what I had. So like this, um, where is it? This outfit here. We, it's very similar to this shirt and then, you know, with the white pants, you can get that for $2.61. So if this was $11, it was $11.99 when I bought it on Amazon and it, and it came with five outfits, right? So that's like, so it's about the same two, maybe slightly less, especially if you can catch it on sale on Amazon. Plus you get the shoes and these shoes are sold separately and they send you a random oh well why didn't I get these different shoes this is actually like a loafer but still patent leather looking but here's some black like more casual shoes um <clears throat> so I don't know I mean it feels like if and shipping is $1.37 on this listing I mean these are a million there's going to be a million listings right so it seems like if you just want to grab some clothes for Ken just to have some variety it might be better to watch it on Amazon and catch those bulk, um, list those, you know, sets on sale, um, then to get it piece by piece. But that is just my opinion. But yeah, there's tons of clothes on here. Um, now these are cute. Okay, so I totally want to get these. Am I signed in on here? I don't think I am. Look at these! I am signed in. Um, they're two dollars a pair, though. They say Ken on the back. I wonder if they're a um. I wonder if they're a recast. I have 88 items in my shopping cart, you guys. That's not good. Okay, those are cute. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to see. Well, look at this. Now, these are more expensive. See, they look like they fit exactly the same. Yeah, those brown loafers are cute, right? Now, these are $5 a pair. Like, I like this one, right? I like the brown and the orange shirt. I like this outfit, but it's, um, it's $5. So I wonder why it's $5 as opposed to like, I mean, is it a different maker? Is it a different? So anyway, I have a bunch. Let's see what's in my cart. I'll show you what I have coming. Um, no, it wouldn't be in my cart. It would be in my, my orders. Here we go. Don't look at my own stuff. So I have this outfit coming. Which one? This one. It's kind of sparkly, but I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. 
Do I have that one coming? And then I have, as you can see, I was trying to get, I don't know why I thought this one was cute, but look at the price. It was like super cheap. Um, yeah, it's probably, hi Vanessa. I like, I was trying to get more pants outfits and stuff and um, I liked the pants. So that's why I, and it was, you know, less than a buck. And so this is from the NK official. And here were some jeans that I thought looked cute. And this shirt was kind of cute, I thought. Again, 88 cents. Um, this was only 79 cents. And again, pants, you can see a theme here. I liked these with the boot cut or more of a wide leg. Um, I don't know about the belt detail, but that's, you know, 79 cents. And this dress for a buck 16, I thought was pretty. It has these little polka dots on the side. The only thing I don't like is the way the gores, you know, they put the gores on the side to flare out and it's very obviously like not, I don't know, maybe it needs to be pressed or something. I don't care, but I thought this was really cute. And this was only $1.16. Now these all did have shipping, but um, there's just so many cute Barbie clothes on here. And I just don't really, sewing for Barbie is even sort of sometimes harder than sewing for Blythe, unless you're making something basic. So anyway, that's my goal this year is to start getting more. And if, you know, I don't like them or whatever, and I don't ever end up using them, then, um, you know, maybe I'll sell them or give them away or whatever, or dress them up on a doll that I don't want. And then I'll, so yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff for the mermaid challenge. So I bought these, um, to put on the, cause to see if I could use them. I might not be able to use any of these, but I bought this outfit for the mermaid challenge. It came with these two outfits and it was only $4 and 84 cents. Um, and I was thinking of using this one, but then like adding to it, maybe taking off this and putting those sequins on or something anyway, because I just, I don't know. I mean, every bit, we all make, like most of us make our own things, but not everybody can make, right? And so I was thinking, well, what if you buy something and just like accessorize it or you buy something and transform it? So that's what I was doing. That's what I decided to do. I don't know about this top if I'm going to use it or not, or, um, or maybe I'll use this one. Depends on which one looks better on the doll that I have. So, but yeah. I was just like, God, it's such a little thing. And I'm going to have to buy all this. Like I, I was looking at the cost of fabric and everything. And like, I was like, what am I realistically going to use this kind of fabric again for? And uh, so I was just like, you know what? And there's actually way cuter stuff on Ali. There's some really pretty, um, Blythe mermaid stuff. There's a couple of really nicely done, um, Blythe mermaids outfits, but I didn't buy those. They were like 20 bucks and I was like, no. So maybe I will dress up a Blythe and a Barbie as mermaids. Um, like nobody has their pictures of their dolls. In it. I mean, look at all the Blythe, like, look at, oh, here we go. This is really pretty. Even if you don't want to like I don't know if you can see how pretty this is, but there's a little fairy costume too. It's gorgeous. I thought about it, but it's $18 and 90 cents. But then I was like, nah, look how pretty they'd made this. So, and it comes with, um, it comes with the headband, the top and these pretty sleeves. But look how gorgeous that is. Yeah. I was like, really tempted to just buy this. So anyway, this is there. It's um, outfit for Blythe dolls, mermaid suit, lace, skirt, chong sam suit, refreshing style, cute clothes. And <gasps> look at this bed. Oh, it's cute. And there's a piggy shirt. There's a piggy chair. How cute. Wouldn't that be cute to make? Look at it. Oh my God. Uh, you know, Tracy, 
I'm, I think that's cool that you're using what you have and different is cool and interesting. Like, you know, mine's going to be so typical and whatever, you know, it's whatever. It's supposed to just be fun. Right. I was like, I bought an $8 doll. I bought one of the boss socks and I was like, do I really want to spend like, you know, $40 on freaking materials and accessories and stuff. But then of course the amount of accessories I ended up buying is ridiculous. And I'll probably only use a couple pieces from each thing I bought, if anything. But I thought, well, you know, I can, I can do it, use it for something. I'm sure I'll use it again. You know, craft supplies, just gather more junk in the disaster of this off. That is this office. But anyway, look how cute that is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't even with that. Somebody buy that so I can see it. Look how cute. It must be huge though. Cause that's a, look how big that is compared to Blythe. But I don't know if you guys have ever tried to make a bed for Blythe. I have started one for my tree diorama that I haven't finished that I haven't worked on in months. And I was, when I actually measured it out for her to lay on it, I mean, it ends up being enormous cause of their big heads. Right? So because it's not only just that you have to have it long for like a Barbie, but you have to have it like super wide to fit her head. You can't do like a narrow bed like you can with Barbie. So anyway, so that's it. I'm waiting for those to come in and um, it's probably going to take a while. You're using a doll you customized years ago. Oh, okay. Did you make her a mermaid or is she just mermaidy? Oh. God, I might go back to bed, you guys. This is not bueno. Um, let me just really quick. So this outfit here on Amazon, I actually would like to get because of this coat. Now this one is $9.99, but some of these shirts are God awful, like God awful. Like th this, the bow tie, the checked shirt with the bow tie is just God awful. Look at it. Like, who would wear that? I mean, I guess you could take the bow tie off, but um, I don't know if you guys can see these, but here's this coat. It looks pretty good with the, you know, simple jeans. And I mean, they're not like perfectly, again, they're baggy and stuff because I, you know, they're for 12 inch boyfriend dolls, right? So they need to be able to fit. Um, I don't really like, I, you don't know what you're going to, it says 10 item five sets of fashion, casual wear clothes with five pairs of shoes for 12 inch boy doll, random style. You get the leather jacket plus the casual clothes and swimwear. So it's random. So you don't know, you are guaranteed the leather jacket, but then like that black t-shirt's nice. And so is the blue stripe with the jeans. That one's not bad. So all of these are fine, but some of these other outfits, I don't know, these, some of these plaid shirts are kind of like cringe. Um, so that's the thing. You just don't know what you're going to get with some of these, but that was only $10. So each piece becomes like $2. You're getting each outfit for $2. So this is, these are actually maybe even better deals than are on AliExpress right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It just, I don't have time to sew. Good Lord. What is this? I don't know. This looks like it could be cool, but it just doesn't look like it's, it looks like it would be, oh no, they don't. Oh no. It looks like it would be good, but then it looks like it's going to be ill-fitting. This is cool too. Anyway, they've got a lot of good stuff on here. This is another $10 outfit. But it's a, oh my goodness, Barbie, you're just such a slut. Look at your shirt. I'm sorry. 
Um, this is kind of cool if you're like the shoes. I mean, this, I don't know, this would be worth, but I don't know, $9.99. Maybe if this went on sale, it would be worth it. Um, yeah, they are going up. You know, it's because it's because the inflation isn't just here in the United States, right? It's like freaking everywhere. It's everywhere. So this is the outfit I got and it was $11.99 and it was on sale. I don't know why. And this was, this was the first listing I got. Yep. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'll probably be buying some more clothes. I feel like these clothes are better than the Playline. In some cases, they're better than what's on the Playline dolls right now. You know, they're obviously not necessarily as good as the signature stuff, but, um, but not everything is the same quality. That's why it's like, I kind of like when I look at these things, I kind of try to see like what I think the quality is going to be like, because if it's just, Okay, that's a strange, the dress is kind of okay, but that's a very strange outfit. But this comes with like, I don't know, I mean, it's very basic. It comes with a bike though. Huh. 30 pieces, doll clothes and accessories for 12 inch boy and girl doll includes 12 set wear clothes, jeans, and wedding dresses, tandem bike glasses. That's really actually, and that's only $16.99. Um, so a couple of these shirts are good, but like this one is not good. I don't really like that, but this one's pretty good. The pants look fine. This shirt's okay. And then, I mean, this this would be a really nice basic piece to have. Oh, you've got the same. Okay, Mel, you bought another basak. You bought a basak, but with the darker blue hair. Cool. Yeah. Are you going to try to deal with her eyes or are you just going to leave them alone? I'm not messing with her eyes. I mean, this outfit's, these are pretty cute. I mean, these two pink dresses are kind of basic and this shirt's a little short, I think. But, you know, considering you get all the this is, uh, the veil is kind of nice. I don't know about this. You'd need to maybe put some darts in here. This is just ridiculous looking on him. But then you get this bike, which is really cool. And these cool glasses and headphones. Perfect stitching and workmanship, huh? Okay. I mean, this hem, this has been hemmed down here. It's not just a raw edge. You can see the seam here. So anyway, that's what I look for, like, when I'm, if I'm going to buy online. If, if, yeah, the more Barbies I get, the less time I have to, less, I just can't possibly sew outfits for every single one of them all the time. So, I don't know. Anyway, this is just an option if you need more clothes for your dolls. Um, it seems like they're about all priced around $2 an outfit. It's kind of how it seems like it's going to go. Again, here's some very mixed quality. Oh my God, what is up with this outfit here? That's just awful. Now look, they apparently are trying to show that they're not Barbies. Like they blurred their eyes out here, but these are obviously on Barbies. So I don't know. I don't really like a bunch of accessories, but I, I do like shoes, but look at these horrible colors. Uh, a scale, what's up with this? Oh, it's a doctor and nurse playset. Oh, that's weird. I don't know. What do you guys? Anyway, now I'm just shopping. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy anything. But I'm just shopping. So some of these are cute. This is 10 pairs. 
That's... I don't know. How much is this one? $16.99. So, 10 outfits. Oh, good God. That's a bright outfit. Oh, these are like bathing suits and... See, like this, this, this I would not buy. These fabrics look too cheap to me. Like, I like the ones that look more natural. I don't like these shiny plastic outfits at all. So I would be into this one. These outfit, these look like more natural materials. You got ribbed turtlenecks and, um, and this looks more like a satin rather than like that cheap plastic stuff. Um, yeah, that's kind of cute. I mean, this is a much nicer pack that this is a pretty dress and that's 26 pack of clothes and accessories. One winter coat, one jacket, four fashion dresses, five top, five pants, 10 pairs of shoes. So yeah, I mean, it just, and it looks like they send you random stuff. Like you could get any one of these jackets and one of these winter coats. So again, it's weird that they do this random. Like you could get one sweater and skirt outfit or one fashion dress. So you're not guaranteed, like, wouldn't it be cool? Like I would want this dress or this dress, but I might end up with that, on that, and that's not, mm -mm. but I think any of these are cute. So, and I like this, um, this, this dress material, which is that crinkled, um, crepe material. Yeah. So it's kind of a crapshoot. It's kind of like, it's kind of like opening up a, a minute, like a blind bag in a way. And they don't mess around with, they just come in a paper clear plastic bag so far. A lot of eight items, doll clothes for Ken, random three pieces, casual wear. If I got this horrible looking thing here, I would cry. Like if I spent my hard good money or if I got this, oh, but like that and this are okay. The, these these are cute here but with my luck I'd get this thing <laughs> so yeah that's why I don't buy any pack I wouldn't buy any pack of of which I I thought you know didn't like you know if there's anything hideous in it I wouldn't buy it but these are pretty decent down here like I don't know so it seems like I've got these two already and these aren't the same seller, so. I don't know, guys. I don't have anything else, so I think I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to say goodbye. Unless you guys have anything to share. I don't know if you could see everything I was looking at under the. Yeah, sorry. I could have shared my screen, but that would be I'd have to go into OBS and mess with my mess with my settings. And um yeah. Crap. I gotta put this down. They don't really have much skipper stuff or Stacy stuff. I'm gonna so I'm gonna have to Try to figure out how to dress, make outfits for Skipper and Stacy. I have been looking on Mercari for like 80s outfits and stuff, but then I think they might, you know, their bodies are different. So they have nipped in waists even in the 80s for Skipper. Um, but the only other thing I've done is I started to try to make some, an outfit for this Krusling's doll. I just I hand stitched up some. Uh, tights really quick. I need to make her a little out like a little dress. This is from socks I got at the Dollar Tree that I showed off a while ago. She doesn't have any. She has the uh, not the outfit she came in. I really don't like. So, but I think she's really cute. Uh, Ellie Nefret has one, which is what how I learned about these dolls. Um, I didn't finish the top. I just folded it. <laughs> I just folded it under. So I'm lazy, you guys. I'm lazy. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do there, though. <sighs> I'm lazy. 
tired. All right. Wow, my video is really behind. I'm going to put it in the chat and say, my video is, well, maybe you can see it. Maybe it's not. Yeah, I need to make more outfits for her. I don't know what she fits, though. I wonder if, oh, I can't get to her. I have that Monst, you know, I have the Monst doll, and then I have the Monst Midi Blythe Hybrid, and I'm wondering if she fits their clothes. But I don't know what I did. Oh, I put that, I put those dolls in the box marked small dolls, and then that box is buried. So I can't get to them right now. So I was thinking I could just pull off the monster outfit and see if it fits, but um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I wonder. I like these dolls. I think they're really cute. I think they'd probably fit the monster outfits. So I don't know. She seems like she's just plastic, but her head is kind of funny the way it's in the joint here like it feels like she looks like she could be strong but i don't think she is i think she's just a vinyl doll like a regular vinyl plastic doll <laughs> yes crucilings they're crucilings dolls they have a k you hear on there these they have a, sometimes they have them on amazon sometimes this one I think I got off of Mercari and she didn't come with her and they have them on eBay and um, Kruselings, K-R Kruselings, it's like a German Kruselings, maybe K-R-U-E Kruselings, Kruselings, yeah I can't, K it's either K-R-U-E or K-R-E-U or K-R-U, Kruselings, oh god, I'll have to look it up now hold on Crucelling dolls. K R U S E L I N G. Um, some of them they have sometimes, and uh, some are fairies. Um, they're nine inch. There's different ones. There's boys as well. I would like to get more eventually. This was just the one I saw used at the time. There's like an African American girl too. Is super cute. Um, Crucelling dolls. Yeah. All right. So that's it. That's literally everything I have for today. I'm going to say goodbye. Luna says goodbye. Ellie has lots of videos with this doll, with her doll like this, in different outfits and stuff on her, and pictures of her on her Instagram, Ellie Nefret. Although I think on... I think her name on Instagram is Ellie North River. Is that right? So, but yeah, she's pretty. There's blondes and yeah, the boy is adorable. All right, I'm really going now, you guys. So have a lovely Sunday evening, afternoon, evening. I'm probably going to go back to bed. Maybe after I look and see who's posted videos. Oh, and I do have a new... Instagram just for dolls and it's called I think it's starch underscore where is the underscore and underscore stitches on Instagram so if I haven't followed you yet over there because I'm trying to find everybody over there I'm going to try to clean I'm going to try to separate out my two Instagrams and do more just art stuff over on my regular, my old one, and then just do more doll stuff on the new one. 
Um, because a lot of my OG followers on my original account are not interested in dolls at all. And, um, yeah. So if you're, look me up, um, starch and stitches on Instagram so I can follow you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.